Hi, I'm Christine Armashaw and welcome to Horse Hacks. So today I'm going to show you how to trim a mane, the best way to trim a mane, so that your horse doesn't end up looking like she has a bowl cut. So all you need is either a mane comb or a brush and a pair of sharp scissors. You need to decide how short, how long do you want it. We're going to go for about this length here. Um, but rather than just hacking it off and cutting it across, don't do that. So rather than doing that, we're going to trim it in a way that kind of um, feathers it out a little bit at the bottom and makes it look like a natural finish, not just I've stuck a bow on her head and cut around it because I don't know about you, but I don't really think that's a really attractive look in a horse. So we're going to brush through it. So this is also like the cheat way of thinning the mane. Um, I don't really like pulling the mane uh, in traditional senses of the word, um, where you're physically pulling the hair out because the horses honestly don't really like it, understandably. Um, and some will tolerate it totally, but I am all for making it easy and comfortable uh, with a really good end result. So one that looks good as well. I like to start from the wither end. Um, and grab a chunk you can roughly grab like four or so fingers width apart you take a hold of it about at this point because i'm just trying to trim it up you go a little bit longer than you want the overall look to be so you hold it like this and with your brush or your comb you're going to tease it up and then you take your scissors and you cut what's left over okay and you brush that back out and move along up the neck. So you take a chunk, hold on to it a little bit longer than where you want it to finish up. Hold tight, brush it upwards. Really back comb it and then above your fingers, cut. Just the bit you're holding on to. And then brush it down. Hold. As it gets thicker, hold on to less at a time. Tease it up. And cut. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way through, working your way up. Now remember, and if you've seen my tail trimming video, the same rule applies. You can always take more off later, but you can't put it back on if you cut too much. So if in doubt, take less off than what you plan and then go back through at the end and shorten it up if you want to. Yes, it will grow back if you make a mistake, so that's nice, but also take it slowly, don't be in a hurry and you'll get a better end result. So take a chunk, tease it up, and then cut. Take a chunk, tease it up, and then cut. Okay, so take a chunk, back comb it, really back comb it, and cut. Now it's the back combing that is going to make sure that it doesn't end up looking like a bowl cut. So it's really important, and if in doubt, take smaller amounts with each go. So if you're not really sure about this whole thing, just take a little bit like this. Take a little bit, especially if you've got a horse with a thin mane, just do it in small increments. Back comb it, cut. Can be really good to give them a hay net while you're doing stuff like this. Just keep them preoccupied. But unlike mane pulling, where you're physically pulling the hair out, it's a lot less painful. Like this is obviously tugging, but she's not hating it. Okay, good. And really try and make sure you brush the last bit out before you move on to the next bit. So it's actually getting thicker up here. So I'm going to redo that bit again. And then the bits that you're thinning out are going to get less and less. Now what we want to do is we wanted to get the whole lot even. But my special trick here is because when we're going with our horse, we want it to look like it has a nice arched neck. So it, it looks like it's carrying itself well, which obviously good training is what you're going to do to get that done. 
but if you trim your mane just so, you can enhance your horse's neck. So what you want to do is at the point where it arches, so about say the middle of the neck, you're going to make that part of the mane a little bit shorter and leave it slightly longer on the other side. So it looks like already before she's even bent her neck that she's got a natural arch and then it will enhance that arch. So remember we're going to leave the end slightly longer than the middle, really back comb it, spin down here, trim that up, brush it out. And now we're also going for evenness, so I don't want long straggly bits. So this is where you get, you'll be getting just a few hairs at once now. Good girl. Just a few hairs, a few hairs at once. So this isn't about taking the length off anymore, this is about getting it even. So these long bits, so that's sort of the line there, we've got long bits hanging out below. So I just grab a hold of the long bit, back comb it and trim it up. And those are just a few hairs. Brush it out. Every time you brush it out, just pause and take stock of it. See how you're looking. You want to go a little bit more, so I'm going to leave the middle there. I'm going to take, take the end, and I'm really only holding just the end of it, because I don't want to trim too much off at the ends. So I'm taking less now. Because you're going for that nice arch. But we don't like these long bits hanging out. So holding on to it. And cutting just the bit you're holding. Don't get scissor happy. Scissor happy results in bowl cuts. It will grow back, but sometimes it takes bloody ages. Starting to look pretty good. Alright. Okay, I'm going to go a wee bit here. Bit, comb it down. Okay, so down, this bit here is where I'm wanting our up. So I'm going for the longest bit first. Back comb it, trim. Brush it down, do the check. Okay, I'm going for the middle again because I want that still to be a wee bit shorter. Brush it out. There. Now we're getting to the crux of it. There we go. So depending on what discipline you're partaking in, you may want your mane longer or shorter. If you're going to um, be plaiting, don't trim too much off. Um, it can make it make it can make it a bit hard to plait. We just want Miss Violet to look tidy. Okay, so pretty good there. Get those last little bits. There we go. And the same can be done with her forelock, but I'm actually... <laughs> there's a hay in there. I'm not too bothered about her forelock. We'll give it a brush out and leave it as is. She's a pretty girl. She is. Okay. And I reckon that's about us. So we can see here. Yeah, looking good. Now, she looks halfway presentable, I reckon. Actually, more than halfway. Hey, gorgeous girl. And as you can see down here, that is what we've taken off today. So, that's a lot of hair. I don't normally let it get to that long, but it's uh, basically spring cleaning time, so... We've uh, spring cleaned Violet's mane. Anyway, that is how to trim your horse's mane without giving your horse a bowl cut because nobody likes a bowl cut, except for maybe mums who thought it was easier to do. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, if you like it, check out my other videos as well, especially the one on how to trim your horse's tail. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed.